close is built around an agenda. The idea is that when you start your day's work, you can head straight to the agenda and your plan for the day is waiting for you. In your agenda, you'll see several different items. Close will recognize when you haven't spoken to the key people in your life, whether that's clients, prospects, or colleagues, and show you reminders in the agenda. Close makes sure you're always prepared for meetings. You'll see all of the emails and documents you've exchanged with attendees. Notes about them. Upcoming meetings and action items. As well as what they're saying on social media. With a single tap, you can even create notes tied to the meeting and attendees. You probably have tasks that need completing. You can create to-dos in Close, iCloud, Siri, or Google Tasks. And when they're due, these will appear on your agenda. You won't see all your emails in your agenda. After all, the agenda isn't your inbox. But if you have emails that need to be replied to by a specific date, Close will add them to your agenda. If you've snoozed an email and asked Close to bring it back on a certain day, or maybe you sent an important email and asked Close to remind you if you don't receive a reply, you'll see all those in your agenda. If Close spots new contact information in an email signature, we'll grab it and put it on the agenda for your approval, so your contact information is always up to date. If you have next steps with any of your deals or projects, you'll be prompted to act on these in your agenda. You'll learn more about next steps in the Managing Contacts and Project and Deals videos. By default, the agenda is showing today, but you can quickly jump to Upcoming or Past Due by tapping on the menu at the top. You can rearrange the agenda as your day unfolds. Just swipe left or right on any item and you'll see different options. What you see when you swipe depends on the type of item. One easy way to remember is that you swipe right to take an action and swipe left to finish up. For example, if you swipe right on a to-do, you'll see the option to snooze it until later. But if you swipe left, you'll see options to add a note or mark it as done. If you swipe right on a meeting, you're prompted with an email template to inform the other participants that you're running late. But if you swipe left, you can add meeting notes. Let's take a look at Keep in Touch Reminders. These are designed to help you stay connected with key people in your contacts list. You can fine tune these reminders by segment. Close has predefined segments, such as client, partner, or supplier. Under settings, you can edit these segments or add your own. You can then adjust the Keep in Touch frequency of each segment. So how does Close know when to prompt you? Well, this is the clever bit. Close analyzes your communications history and figures out who is important. If you fall out of pattern, Close will prompt you to reach out. For example, here we see that the keep in touch frequency for active clients is set to two weeks. Close will calculate the last time we communicated, whether through a phone call, email, meeting, Slack, or text message conversation. And if we haven't been in touch with a particular active client for more than two weeks, Close will put a reminder in our agenda to contact them. But what if we don't want to contact them? If we swipe left, we can see Mute All and Skip. These options sound similar, but there's an important difference. If we select Mute All, we won't see another reminder for this person. But if we select Skip, Close will dismiss this reminder and then immediately restart the reminder schedule. When you swipe on other types of agenda items, you'll see different options. As you begin to use Close, you'll become more familiar with these options and with how to make the best use of your agenda. For now, you're off to a great start. If you have any questions, check out the support section at close.com or email us and let us know how we can help.